Hello lads and ladies and welcome to this and welcome back for another video on the channel. Today we are reacting to Jay Matete joining Sunderland. Yes, one of our star players coming through our academy has left today for an undisclosed fee. However, it is a sustainable one and it is a very healthy one. Uh, for League One and for Fleetwood Town. Now, Jay Matete is a very good player. Now, Sunderland are short midfielders. Now, by the way, I had already filmed this video, but for Jay Matete to go to Ipswich. So, this is a huge turnaround. However, Sunderland and Ipswich are probably, you know, two of the three, four biggest clubs in this league. Sunderland are absolutely massive. You know, they get bigger crowds than championship clubs. You know, they're a Premier League side club, let's be honest. And Jay Matete is going there from Fleetwood Town. So, first of all, it's a huge achievement for Jay, but it's a huge opportunity for Fleetwood as well because we are selling to some big guns now. We sold to Bournemouth recently up in the Premier League and now we're selling to Sunderland. We are selling our good players to big teams. We're not selling them to, you know... Our rivals at the bottom of League One or even League Two, we are selling them to the best, um, which is, you know, a, a good sign for the football club that we're going in the right direction. Now, Jay Matete is a player that likes to get on the ball in midfield. He's a central midfielder. Now, he's, the best trait of Jay's, in my opinion, is his aerial uh, presence and also his presence on the ball as well. Now, he's not an overly big midfielder. He hasn't got... You know, he's not like a Fabinho type, but he's more like a Kante type. He's busy in the midfield. He likes pinging passes left, right. But he's also very good at running forward. He'll run forward. He will play forward, which is the best thing that you can do in League One. If you can do that and get the odd goal as well, then perfect. He's done that a couple of times. Away at Oxford, he ran from the halfway line and literally passed it into the goal. And then away at Barrow, he scored in the top got corner late on in the game as well, which was an unbelievable finish. So he can do, you know, both sides of the game really well he's very good defensively but very good going forward as well he likes he does like running into the box as well so he's very good with the ball at his feet he's like he's very quick you know a dancer at times and you know he's, he's only 20 years of age he's only played 40 odd times for Fleetwood as well so he's only going to get better he went on loan to Grimsby last year, which I think did him the world of good. He scored a couple of times, come back this year and been in our first team regularly. He didn't play on Saturday. I do think today had in mind that he was leaving the football club. Um, but again, it's a good move for Jay. He's gone to test himself and he's not gone to Sunderland just to sit in their reserves. He probably could have gone to a championship club, that is my opinion. And not have been ready and been on the subs bench every week or you know be on the under 23s because remember he has been at Reading under 18s he got released and we picked him up just like we've done you know we picked up James Hill from local areas you know Paddy Lane from the non league you know Chris Con Clark uh, you know Cole Johnson Harrison Olgate Jed Garner we've got a history now of you know performing these you know young players and let's not forget Jamie Vardy a few years ago as well so. This is not just a one-off for Jay Matete. This is not just a one-off for this football club. We have got a lot of good talent in the football club and we are going to have to get used to basically shaking young footballers' hands and getting a good feeling for them, reinvesting it and becoming self-sustainable because this is the only way at League One you're going to do it. And Matete is an absolute star. There should be, an, there should be a 20% sell-on fee. If not, that's criminal because Matete will go on to bigger and better things than Sunderland. He will, in my opinion. I know that's harsh of me to say. If Sunderland... You know, don't get back up into the Premier League or the Championship. He will go, you know, better than League One. And I think he could even go better than the Championship. I really do. But Sunderland is a huge platform. You're playing in front of 30, 35, 40,000 fans. They took 5,000 fans to Bolton on Saturday. Yes, they lost 6-0. But the fans are unbelievable. They'll let you know if you've had a bad game. But if you have a good game, you feel like... You know, Ronaldinho, let's be honest. I know he doesn't really compare to Jay Matete, but um, again, that's how good that football club can be. But he's gone there and he's gone there to fight and to play in their first team week on week. And that, if you've got that in League One, if you've got that hungriness, you're going to be a top, top player. Now, again, Sunderland are without a manager at the moment. There's rumours. You know, McCann, Duncan Ferguson, you know, Defoe's coming back apparently. So, it's been a mad transfer window. But, again, Matetti, strong on the ball, powerhouse, likes running into the box. Um, good passer of a ball. Um, 
Again, just needs more experience, just needs more games. If he can add a few more goals and assists to his game, then I think he's the complete player. But there isn't a complete player in League One. I think Scott Twine's the nearest to it. But Matetti will go and have a very good future. And I love him and it's been an absolute unbelievable experience watching him in my Fleetwood Town side. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. All the best to Sunderland for the rest of the season. All the best to Jay. I hope he absolutely flourishes in a good side as well. Please remember to like and subscribe. So close to 8,000 subscribers. Up the cards.